Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial about Zebra code. In this tutorial, we are going to download and install the AWS SAM CLI tool. But before we do that, let's take a look at the AWS SAM CLI tool. What is AWS SAM CLI? Well, on its own, AWS stands for Amazon Web Services. SAM stands for serverless application model while cli stands for command line interface so aws some cli in full means amazon web services serverless application model command line interface it is best abbreviated as aws some cli the aws some cli is a command line tool that you can use with AWS SAM templates. It supports third party integrations to build and run serverless applications. We will see more of that during the course of this uh, tutorial and our work in the AWS series. Before we download the tool, once again, let's quickly look at some of the things that we can do with it or we need to have in place before we can work with it. Uh, normally to work with the AWS platform, you need to sign up for an account. You would also need to create an administrative IAM user. You will also create an access key ID and a secret access key. We have done these ones before in my previous uh, videos, but for now, we are going to concentrate on how to download and install the AWS CLI. Once we have downloaded it, then we will have the ability to configure the AWS credentials. The AWS SAM consists of two parts. The two primary parts that the AWS SAM consists of are the AWS SAM template specification which is an open source framework that a user can use to define the serverless application infrastructure on AWS. The second part is the AWS SAM command line interface. It is a command line tool that allows a user to use the AWS SAM template and it is supported by third party integrations. A user can use it to build and run serverless applications on the AWS uh, platform. This is from the official documentation of AWS on the Amazon platform. There are some important things to know about the AWS SAM CLI. Why would you want to use the AWS SAM CLI? Well, there are several reasons why you would want to use it. It allows you to quickly create and initialize a new application you can build your application and make it ready for deployment it allows you to perform debugging and testing of your applications locally when your application is ready you can deploy it easily to the aws platform it allows you to configure ci or cd deployment pipelines for your applications the AWS SAM CLI tool allows you to monitor and troubleshoot your cloud-based applications. The SAM CLI tool allows you to sync local changes to the cloud as you develop your applications. And there is a lot more that you can do with it. We can install the AWS SAM CLI tool on different platforms. We can use it on Windows, on the Mac, or on the Linux platform. But for this tutorial, we are going to download and install it on the Windows platform. To download it, we can get it from this link on GitHub, or we do a Google search for it. It is an MSI file. So let's do a Google search for the AWS and CLI so that we can download it. Now, open your favorite web browser and go to www.google.com. On Google, let's search for AWS SAM 
CLI. Click on this. And this result page will open. Like I said earlier in my previous slide, you can get it from GitHub or you go to their official website. Either way, you will be able to download it. For me, I will click on this one here, installing the AWS some CLI, which is from Amazon.com. Great, this page will open. On this page, it says installing the AWS some CLI. Scroll down. And here it says to install the AWS some CLI, follow the instructions for your operating system. If you are on Linux, click on this. If you are on the Mac platform, click on this. If it is Windows, then click on this. I am on Windows, so I will click on this. I'll scroll down a bit. Here it says one download the AWS some CLI 64 bit. And here it says optional, you can verify the integrity of the installer before installation. And here it says verify the installation. Now I will click on this link to download it. It is downloading. Great, it has finished downloading. It says your AWS some CLI 64py3.msi. Now I will open the folder where it was downloaded to on my system. Great. It was downloaded to my downloads folder. Find out where yours was downloaded to on your computer. It is likely going to be on the downloads folder as well. It is a .msi file. Now I will double click on it to install it. It is preparing to install. Now the installation wizard will open. Click next. Read the license agreement, and if you are happy with it, click this box and accept the terms in the license agreement. Now click Next. Here it shows where it is going to be installed on your system. Mine is going to be installed on the C drive, Program Files, Amazon, and this will be my AWS some CLI link. If you want to change it, you can change it, but in my case, I will leave it as it is by default. I'll click Next. Now click install. It is installing. Be patient. If you get any Windows security message, click yes. Great, now it has completed the installation process. We can now click finish. All right, now let's verify our installation. To do that, I will open the command prompt CMD. Now I will type in SAM SAM space hyphen hyphen version as sum space hyphen hyphen version hit enter great it shows that we have some CLI version 1.106.0 installed as sat at the time of doing this video this was the latest some CLI version now let's type in sum Great. Here it shows some of the commands that we can run from the CLI. Let me scroll up a little bit. So from here, we can see the AWS serverless application model, some CLI and the commands that we can run. Here is a link to the 
serverless application model on the aws.amazon.com platform. Here's some of the commands. Create an application that's init. Deploy your application, build local, validate, and so on. There are so many commands here that we can run. And here it says, get started, some init. To initialize it, we run this command. So in this video, we have learned how to download and install the AWS SAM CLI tool on Windows. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.